Alright, Shalom Akim. I'd like to say Kahalal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweshai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash, Double Honesty Apostles, and Elizabeth of Great Middleton of Uwell, and Peace and Salutation to the Akim around the world that push this truth to the four corners of the earth. I just say I don't want to touch on this, on this topic, my spirit, you know. I wanted to touch on it a little bit because I realized that there are a lot of things concerning this missing people. This missing people situation these days. Right? Now we know there was something that was always kind of blooming in the US. But more often now you're seeing people not only in the US, but all over the world, including the country I am now, which is Trinidad and Tobago. Almost every day you're seeing somebody going missing. And very rare is actually find them. Right? So have you seen our missing black girls? <laughs> Already and truly, even in this country, majority the, the jakes that is go missing is be women. You understand? You know the judgment of the Lord is. It's an estimated 64,000 black girls and women across the United States have gone missing. Iniaya, Iniaya Wilson, right? All right. And Skylar Mini are also among an unfortunately growing number of young people listed in the in the critical in the critically missing section of the expansive database of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. I know usually when people, when women go missing. Sometimes they're being killed by some man, being raped, sold for trafficking. There's how many different reasons. Sometimes they're being sold for organs. Right? There's how many different reasons why young people in particular just go missing. But you can see these things actually increasing on the land. Missing people and crime. There's two things that are actually increasing on a very wide span. Right, it said, it said just, just fourteen Wilson had, just fourteen Wilson had been missing from her Columbus, Ohio home, since January twenty fifth. It says she's African American, has brown hair and brown eyes, standing five feet six inches tall and weighing a hundred and twenty pounds. Right. Is it thankfully Skylar Manny from Lancaster Caliph was found on March 9th. Prior to that, she was last seen <laughs> February 14th. So like I say, some of them that is actually fine, but majority of them they don't. You understand? Let's see if I get Right, and there's an instance from from the country I in, right? Trinidad and Tobago. Apparently this woman went missing. You know, sometime since I said Diana Richard, thirty two of Tobago last seen mid December two thousand eighteen, and that was months ago. And there's something that I seen constantly, almost every single day. I seen people missing. Majority of them is be women. You understand? Majority has be women. You rarely actually see men go missing. Unless there's some kind of gang dispute. You know, or they have some altercation with somebody. But in terms of just generally going missing randomly, it's usually the young women, older women. And we know these things are the judgment of the Lord. Is first Peter four seventeen or two seventeen? Nice, it's four, yeah. It 
they say for the time is um first peter 4 17 right they say for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of power and we know what the house of power uh, refers to which is israel right talk about um judgment shall begin at my sanctuary like i think in ezekiel 9 you see and if it first begin at us what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of power because really and truly as men of the lord we judgment is actually be real real serious sometimes even though we actually do in the lord's will we just go through some serious afflictions in this world and that's for the men are actually trying to be according to how they're supposed to be so imagine the kind of judgment the tutors going and receive you understand the ones that are actually not trying to be in accordance in that one mind and actually seeing these things being fulfilled and as much as this, as much as people might be seeing these things happening and saying that thing is so bad it's actually just the beginning because they're going to get even worse than this all right anyway i'll make it too long you know with that i like to give all praises and all glory to yahweh ba'asham yahushai ba'asham rachakodash the blood of the apostles and the of great millstone of the well and peace and salutation to the akim around the world that pushes through to the four corners of the earth this is Yarba from Eternal Camp saying Shalom, Akiam, stay strong.